believe there is a guitar in this box. It's coming from Greece. It's from a company called Move Travel Guitar. And I've been so excited about this. I finally got one in my hands here. And I just wanted to set this thing up and show you what this thing's all about. Now, there's other travel guitars out there, but at least from my research, there's none that achieve the quality of this one. It is a hand-built guitar with so many details figured out. And it's a full-size instrument. It's not some miniature guitar. It's a full-size instrument, full-size neck scale guitar that is capable of making some really great sounds, at least from what I've seen online. But let's go ahead and open up this box and see what this move is all about. How cool is that? Here's the backpack. Inside it contains the Move Travel Guitar, along with a speaker for it, a golpeador, and everything you need to get started with this thing. If you're traveling with your instrument and you need to play a gig somewhere or you need a guitar to practice on, but it's not one of those situations where you want to take your concert guitar, your full-size guitar, you can take this on a plane and it's virtually the size of a flute or something like that, like a case that easily goes in the overhead or underneath your seat, no problem. Maybe I'll unzip this smaller pouch first, see what's in there. Okay, here's like the tap plate for flamenco things. There it is. Okay, we'll get to that later. I'll set that aside. Now, here are some of the parts of this instrument. This must be the bottom, the lower belt of the guitar. And then here's other places like armrests and leg rests. And I'm guessing this is the main part of the instrument. Here's a little Bluetooth speaker to attach. You know, if you don't have a full amplification set up and you're just practicing, you can use this thing. It's worth noting that it's a very heavy duty feeling bag. Uh, it's gonna be a secure in here. You also told me it's waterproof. Here's the neck and, you know, the body of the guitar. <laughs> There's the strings, wow. Oh, and these are, you know, you can tell everything is so high quality on this. Sorry, you can tell I'm a little excited, right? Okay, so I know there are instructions, so I'm gonna have to read those before I actually put this together live on screen. But look how this thing comes. This is the guitar, and there's your sound system for it, uh, without any of the attachments that I already took out of the box, like this stuff. But basically, this is going to unfold, and I know there's some things I have to check before I actually open this up. You have to make sure like, uh, it's wrapped in the right places, but I think it's a very simple setup. I remember yours told me that this area um, where, where the nut is, is not a big of a deal. It's, it, they, these fall into the grooves, but down here um, where you get strung up, you have to make sure that these strings fall along the correct roots. Now that I've looked at some of the instructions, I'm gonna make sure everything's in its groove, and it does look, it does appear to be in the right groove. So, let's see, this is the first time. It's a little nerve wracking, right? Wow, I cannot believe that. Wow, look at that. There it is, it's snapped into place. Of course it's not in tune. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting when I strummed those strings, but wow, what a nice looking fingerboard. I mean, you've got 12 frets up to here and the neck feels normal. It feels like a very normal neck and fingerboard. Very, very nice. The genius of the tuners being down here is that you save extra room, um, making this even smaller. So. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and break out some instructions here so I can make sure that I put these all these attachments on the correct way. But when I saw Yorgos put this together for me over Zoom, uh, it was a matter of seconds before he got all of those attached. So I'm sure I'll get to that level. This will be slow my first time, I'm sure. Um, but I also wanna make sure I do it correctly. So I'll be right back after I check out some instructions and figure out how to put this thing together. Maybe I'll time lapse this. Okay, so you can see there's those two little bolts and then a screw thread. That's where this bottom one goes. It pops right in and then a nice little thumb screw. Don't need any tools. I believe this is the second part here and this goes right on the back. But I'm gonna guess this long one compared to this other piece here, short is the one that goes on my leg here, on my left leg. 
So. Okay, I just got this thing put together and it is incredible and what an amazing design. I just have to share this with you. The most amazing thing about this design is not immediately apparent from just looking at it head on like this, but it's something that Yorgos revealed to me um, when he was showing me a product demo of this, which you can do on the Move website. Uh, and that is how this device, this guitar simulates the depth of a normal standard classical guitar. You see, if you look at it like this, you may not be able to tell, but as I turn it, you can tell that all of these different supports are on a different plane. So when you set it down in your lap, it feels like you're holding a real guitar um, that you're used to, right? The normal amount of depth, not some skinny thing that's like, sort of feels like you're holding an electric guitar with nylon strings. Doesn't feel like that. It feels like a real classical guitar. Now, another super genius thing about this design, I, I love this, I, I didn't even think about this, but this one, the leg rest for your left leg, can be adjusted so you don't need to use a footstool. And that's how I have it right now, actually, right out of the box. No adjustment. I've got my right arm on this armrest and no footstool, no guitar support. It is just this. So you can imagine if you're traveling somewhere, you're going on a camping trip, maybe you're going home and visiting family, you don't wanna bring your guitar and you just wanna bring the move. You can have this, no footstool in your backpack, no huge guitar support that looks like a pizza tray, none of that, right? Just this, I'm, I'm just so excited. So uh, I'm gonna get this thing in tune. So I'm gonna have a much more in-depth video coming soon on this where you can hear the real potential of the sound beyond this little speaker which is meant for traveling you can get an amazing stage sound from this sound system that he has in here which controls two different microphones one that's internal and one that's under the saddle it's insane it's so well thought out there's so much to say about this but this is just a first looks video um, let's get this in tune i really can't wait Okay, it just took me a few minutes to get it in tune, and now it's completely unplugged, no speaker. It feels great. Okay, I can't wait to hear some of this. Okay, now I have this JBL speaker attached to the guitar. Now I'm going to use this coiled cable, which also comes with it, and I'm going to plug it in, and then I'm going to wrap it around to this side, and plug it into the headphone port. Whoa. I hear it already. Okay, I have this thing all set up. I've got it plugged into this little miniature JBL speaker here. And I've got to say, this guitar is so much fun. I can't wait to plug it into an actual speaker system, show you how all of this interfaces. There's an actual output here for going into a professional audio systems, PA systems, whatever amp you have. I've got a Fishman over there, I've got a JBL, an AER. You can plug this into professional systems and even blend the different microphones. Uh, there's a microphone internally here and there's a piezo pickup underneath the bridge here. And uh, there's all sorts of blending between the two that you can do on the sound system, on the equalizer. Um, I can't wait to explore this thing more. And in the meantime, while you're waiting for a more in-depth, thorough video, um, if you do want to pick one of these up, um, you can go on the Move website and use the code that you'll see on the screen here um, or down in the description box. You get one of these free if you type in that code and make sure you add this to cart first and then put that code in and that'll come out for free. This thing attaches underneath with a couple of screws, which I've yet to put in here. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, and definitely stay tuned for other ones where I actually play this thing through professional audio and get some great quality sound out of it rather than through this tiny little Bluetooth speaker, which is great for practice, but it's not really amazing sound. Um, let's see how it does later. What a cool thing this is. Thanks so much to Yorgos at Move for making these and sending this to me. Time to pack this thing up. Okay, so it is all packed up here. I could have folded the neck down if I wanted to, but I don't want to have to go through the stretching of the strings process. But if I needed it to be that small, I could have gone ahead and done that. But anyways, here's the move. See you in the next video.